y'all get ready with me tonight i have greenville fashion week tryouts i am super excited so this is my first time doing greenville fashion week tryouts this is just like i guess the like general scouters for fashion week just see if you're going to be a good fit for any designer and then the designers themselves will like select who they want from my understanding but then greenville fashion week has the final say it's a bit confusing i just ran through um it's like this little hair straightener brush. I'm not really sure. I've had it for a while and I feel like it's really good about not damaging your hair because my hair is really like naturally curly. So like anything I can do to just help it look healthy is the goal. Um, I think we're just gonna go with something like this for today to be honest, that was easy. I went ahead and already put some face oil on. I feel like I should maybe part my hair differently because they were like, don't have it on your face. So I don't know if I should like, I don't know, I just like, I don't know, I don't like my hair pulled up like that. And some people have theirs out, just like not on their face. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. My outfit has to be all black, so I have this little black top. I look like a boxer right now, um, and then like some black leggings. But I also have a different black top, so I might change into that one. I'm not sure yet. A little hairspray. I used to have like, one I really liked, like that gray Kendra, I think it's called. But I haven't got that one in a while, just cause like, I don't know, it's really expensive. Um, but this is what I'm using right now. It's literally just a cheap drug store I got on vacation when I forgot to bring mine. And I've kind of just been using it ever since because I don't want to like waste it. Okay, y'all, there's like highlighter on my fingers and I'm not sure from what. I think it was like on this. I don't think it'll get on my face. Eh, whatever. Maybe it'll make it a little sparkly. Looking really yellowy on camera, but I swear it doesn't look like that in person. Okay, so I did that. I swear I don't actually look plumpish in person. Um, maybe I do, but I don't think so. And then I'm going to just go in with a concealer and put it around like all the highlights of my face. So it's just a lighter shade. And I just go in like literally all around the white parts. And I learned this thing where you go above it from Victoria Dude, who's like a pretty big makeup artist. She also has like the best lip glosses ever. So definitely check that out. I went ahead and put like the Fenty contour. I accidentally put it in the middle of my nose. I tried to like wipe it off. Do not mean to do that. Um just to get that snatched look. And I feel like this goes on that it makes it look like pretty natural. Like you can't really tell, in my opinion. Anyways, if y'all want to get into like that fashion week type of stuff, this is my first time. Like my new year thing was trying to like get out of your comfort zone. I always love to try new things. That's why I started pageants. I had gone to Miss Universe in 2017. And I just loved it and I was like, a couple years later, I was like, I want to just do a pageant. And I didn't just show up, like, I actually trained and everything. Like, I took it seriously. So just because you're, like, trying new things doesn't mean you have to, like, do it poorly, I guess. Um, and then I wound up winning my state title, and that was for USA National Miss. And that was my year last year. I absolutely loved it. The amount of opportunities I got, just doing everything. I spoke to, like, tons of girls about women empowerment and really being anything you want to be. And then I got to like do little photo shoots. I obviously got to compete at nationals, which was really fun. Um, and I loved my year so much with USA National Miss that I decided to go back this year. And I haven't received my sash or anything like that yet, but it should be coming very soon. So I will definitely announce that on like social media when it comes. Um, I've already announced that I'm going back because that way for my appearances, like I can post about them and it not be like, oh, what is she doing? Um, but even if you just want to get into pageants, like, you can definitely reach out to me or really any pageant person. Like, if you just search whatever system you want to do, basically any title holder is more than happy to talk to you because all of us were in your spot at one point. So we just want to make the transition of, like, going from no experience to hopefully a title holder the easiest and most fun and least stressful for you because we all had to go through that first awkward pageant stage. Um, and about different systems, I have a whole video going into like how to get started in pageantry. And I filmed that a bit a while ago, so some of the information, it might've changed just a bit, 
but really it's gonna give you like all the basics of like their makeup, different pageant systems. I'll explain the pageant systems here in a second because I do think that's important. So basically different pageant systems means like there's a, the big two one that people always think of are Miss USA and Miss America. And forever those were like probably the only pageant systems because even the ones I'm thinking about, like National American Miss, I think they just celebrated, I just have eyeliner on my hand, whatever. Um, National American Miss just celebrated their 20th anniversary. And then like Miss America, I think just had their like 100, maybe a couple years ago. So they've definitely been around a good amount of time compared to the other ones. And I think USA is only their 76th year. Oh wait, no, that's Miss Universe. Um, I'm not really sure to be honest, I kind of forget. It's too much to keep up with as I'm getting eyeliner all over me. So when I decided to start my pageant journey, a girl at my school was actually the current USA National Miss South Carolina teen and she had no idea who I was. I just followed her journey online and I loved the things she was doing with it and that year I also loved what the title holders were doing with their titles. I thought that the sisterhood of UNM was really actually like genuine and they seemed like all of the contestants were just having a good time with each other. I really loved that aspect. Um, even at the state level, like the sisterhood seemed really strong and the empowerment aspect, they were just changing their platform when I was looking into it, like the national platform, to be inspired. So it allows you to inspire in whatever like way you want, I guess. You have three pillars, compassion, kindness, and earth. And I kind of did compassion, kindness, however you want to fall into it, but it was mentoring. I love like talking to girls and sharing my experience with them because I'm a pilot, I'm a private pilot, and I'm hoping to be an airline pilot in just a couple years once I finish up my training. And so sharing with them that they can do really anything they want to do because forever there was just such male dominated fields and I think it's so important to show that there are women breaking these barriers and you don't have to be a tomboy, you don't have to represent a specific mold in order to go into those fields. Um, so that was my whole platform last year, and I'm going to continue with that this year. It's just going to be a little different, I think. I haven't really fully um, announced it, nor finished all my plans for it yet, but I'm really excited for it. So I'm looking for my mascara, and I just can't find it. Okay, there we go. Um, so different passion systems. So your two main ones, Miss USA and Miss America, have been around 7,500 years. They're the ones that have forever, outside of the pageant world, everyone will know the name of those probably. So much so that if you hold a title for a different pageant, they'll be like, oh, you're like Miss USA, and you're like, no. Um, so you'll definitely encounter that a lot in pageant, like outside of pageant world. But inside of pageant world, there's so many different small organizations, and then there's a ton of large organizations as well. Um, the one I did, USA National Miss, has reaped like the best prize package for the past few years. I don't think that pageant planet's nominations for 2023 have came out yet, but I could definitely be wrong. Um, they also rank in like the top five pageants to do every year because it's truly an inspiring organization. It's all about empowerment. I just love that. Um, but then there's also like National American Miss, which I've never competed in because I've only done pageants for like two years now. I've stuck with you and them for both years um, because I loved it so much. But National American Miss, from my point of view, is a lot more scholarly because the faces of competition are like personal introduction, interview, gown, and then bio. And first off, a lot of pageants don't have bio as a scoring, nor do they have personal intro. So that's why I say it's a bit more scholarly. UNM has from fashion, interview, and gown, and they're all worth equal points, like 30%, 30%, 30%, and then if you make it to the top three, you do an on-stage question, which is worth 10%. So depending on what you have, like a lot of people think pageants require talent, that's definitely not true. Um, but if you're like really strong in talking, then Mia might be a good pageant for you. If you're looking for a more glam, you and I might be the right one for you. But then there's also other ones like High School and Collegiate Merida, that's the same company. And they do kind of a U and M style. It's the same place as a competition, but they're all still just a bit different. Like their message is about brave. So it's like an anti-bullying platform, which is really cool. Like, especially if you have a strong story about that, I think having a platform that embodies that if you're like really strong about that's important so it's also about what's important to you because like for me i love that under unm you can inspire in any way you want and going to a system like Talisha america i definitely could try in my future but right now at the moment i don't have anything that i could stand for behind that national platform so you have to make sure that you're going to represent yourself well under their platform but you're also going to represent the system well underneath the platform 
then what other miss usa is like pretty top of the line right they have amazing opportunities if you get there and i'm just gonna put some powder on like i know this isn't natural but like, it's okay if they don't choose me it's more just setting yourself out there in my opinion like trying new things having the confidence to try new things um, not the time of my resolution in the new year, just like put yourself out there. Last year I focused a lot on platform. I didn't really do a lot of glam stuff, so this year I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. Change my philosophy just a tad. Um, I don't know, I feel like that looks pretty good. Because I don't want it to look like fake, I want it to still look like me. Um, I'm gonna bring a hair tie in case I want to pull my hair back, but at the moment I don't think I do. So whenever I get a spray tan, I always forget that the blush I use doesn't work well. So I have this other one. I literally have no idea uh, what the brand is, but it's a little pinkier and it shows up better when my skin's darker. Because naturally, I am like so pale, y'all. I hope it's not for three hours, so it's definitely gonna fade a little bit. So I'm like kind of planning for that in my head if that makes sense. I could stop recording. You got tired of me. Just do it. Okay, this is like a bronzer, so it's not contour, but it's bronzing, so it kind of gives you that natural, glowy, bronzy appearance. Anywho, for tryouts today, you have to bring two headshots, um, bye bye, one headshot, two pictures, and one full body shot. So I just got those. They're definitely not like modeling ones, but I am getting like model comp pictures taken in just a couple months because I signed with an agency. Which I will announce shortly, but we have to make sure it's all like official, official before I release the news. Um, and I'm short, y'all. So like I'm five five. I always thought that like, I can't be a model. I'm short, but you actually can. Like, cause you can model for different things. Like you can do print modeling, um, or you can do commercials. Like commercials, they don't normally care how tall you are. So I think that's really cool. Just always throw yourself out there. Like, don't be afraid. The whole reason I'm doing Green Belt Fashion Week is just because I saw people do it last year and it looked like so much fun. So I just decided to like submit some paperwork. Literally all I had to submit was like my height, my measurements, and then like a couple pictures again. And that's basically it. And then they like select you to come try out so they can see you in person and see how you walk. Um, you actually have to wear black shoes today, and somehow out of the literal like 20 pairs of heels I own, I don't own a pair of black heels, and so I ordered some off of Amazon because those were the only ones I could get last minute, but I am more like a huge diverse style by Sydney Dion fan. Her shoes are absolutely amazing for passions because they like squeeze your feet in and you can adjust them, and then you don't have to like readjust them. I don't know. They're really expensive, but they last, and she has her whole message is about like different colors, like being able to have shoes for like nude shoes for every body like color type which i think is so awesome um i think i'm just gonna do a light lip gloss so normally i have her shoes i literally practice walking in them like at least five times a week um i love like pageant walking practicing just to like i don't know it's just so much fun to me like i don't see it as a oh i have to practice i see it as a like i have to practice maybe that's just me but if you're definitely starting out in pageants practice walking in your heels like 24 7 because i've basically gotten to the point now that i can have those shoes on for like three four five hours and i don't even realize they're there although yesterday at the fashion show my feet were starting to get a bit sore because i did not sit down basically all day <laughs> but definitely start practicing in your heels that way when you get to like pageants or fashion week tryouts you feel confident in what you're doing and also every shoe is different so make sure that you practice walking in all the shoes you're gonna wear um where is my brown pencil oh, there it is um yeah so now i'm just finishing getting ready my eyebrows i'm like so blessed to actually have like pretty good eyebrows so i don't really have to do much to them i just fill them in a little with this little mix eyebrow thing i don't know i literally just got it a lot of people use eyebrow gel. I should probably do that. I just haven't yet. And then I'm gonna brush it, not with that, because I don't like how that works. But I have a little like mascara y brush that I think it looks really pretty when I brush them. I kind of think this is gonna be the final look. I might line my lips. I don't know, but I feel like it should be a lighter color because I normally use like a darker color for other events. But I'm gonna bring my lip glosses with me because I live like two hours away from Greenville. So it'll definitely wear off, but I just wanted to like see how it would look before I got there. I did there. Um, I think that's 
that's all I'm trying to do. Does it look good, y'all? I think it looks fine, right? I think it looks cutesy. Use a setting spray to finish. It didn't really spray. It's like tall. To finish the look. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do that to you because I'm moving away. And like I need my mom to tell me like if I look like if it looks fit or not or like what to fit. So my really next year, watch out, y'all are gonna be my new uh weight drop assistance. Oh my god, that's so cute. And I think that's the final cool. look. Um and for outfits here, y'all, I don't even know if I can show you my outfit because <laughs> my bathroom's like makeup pads are everywhere. Um so here. It's just this. It has like I'll oh, pull this up so it's like high waisted. I think that's a good fit. Maybe I'm not really sure. I think we're vibing. Hey y'all, I will see you guys later. We're